Not only does each song teach you a new skill, it's a variety of music, so hopefully it exposes you to maybe some different genres. We go all the way from modern rock to pop music to classic rock, grunge, we've even got some 70s disco in there, metal, easy listening, there's something in there hopefully for everyone. The first song is Die For You by The Weeknd. I'm gonna be teaching you the main drum grooves to the song, so each song will have one or two main drum beats. If you want the full transcription, again, that's available in the video description. As well, I have linked a YouTube playlist with all of these songs in it for you. This is a great song to start with. The tempo is slower, so it's only 67 BPM. Now, we're starting with the money beat, and some of you are like, what is the money beat? The money beat is one of the most basic drum beats we can have in modern pop and rock music. So we're gonna be playing eight notes on the hi-hat, one and two and three and four and two and four on the snare drum, one and two and three and four. Four on the floor on the kick drum. So one, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and four. Now a lot of you will already know that drum beat, so there's one little thing that you need to start learning, and that is how to raise the hi-hat. This is a question I get from a lot of my drum students, especially those that are just starting out. This is a two-measure loop. So measure one is gonna be played one and two. The second measure of the drum beat is exactly the same, except on the and of three, we raise the hi hat. Four and one and two and three and four and. So you'll be raising on the and of three and closing it on the downbeat of four. Let me play that two measure loop for you. Three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and two and one and two. If you've never raised the hi-hat, that may be the challenging part for you. Isolate that part of the beat outside of the song and then slowly try to add it back in. Time for skill level number two. This next one, we're gonna increase the tempo. So it's gonna be 112 BPM. We're using the same drum beat. This one's Do You Think I'm Sexy? A little cheeky, written by Rod Stewart. And if I remember my facts correct, I believe the drummer on this song, Carmine Apice, or Apice, however you wanna say his name, I believe he co-wrote this song. There is the occasional hi-hat lift, which we learned in the last song, and there's an ever so slight accent on the upbeat of every note. One and two and, but not too hard. Three, four. Three, four. Time for skill level number three, and this skill level, we're gonna again bump the tempo up. This is New Light by John Mayer. I believe the drummer on this is Aaron Sterling, and we're now going to be, instead of at 112 BPM, remember we started at 67 BPM, the next song was at 112 BPM, now we're at a 124. So we've taken that same drum beat and progressively gotten faster over three songs, and now you know three songs with the same drum beat. Remember the full PDF booklet with all 10 songs, all of the drum fills, all of the grooves, full transcriptions of 10 songs. It's free, it's in the link in the video description. The fourth song, some of you metalheads or Avenged Sevenfold fans may know it, it's Hail to the King. At the beginning of the song in the fifth measure, we start with an open hi-hat on two and four. One, two, one, two. We do that for four measures. Then we add the kick drum on two and four. One, two. Then we're going to go into a variation of the beat we just learned, but we're taking out the kick drum on beats two and four. Opening the hi-hat, here's what that sounds like. Three, four. There are a couple drum fills I wanted to point out. The first drum fill is an eighth note build that he does on the kick drum and toms. And it's going to go one and two and three and, and on four we're going to end with a crash in the snare. One and
The second drum fill that's repeated in this song is between the kick and the snare drum. It's gonna go one and two and three and four and. With every kick drum, we're gonna add an open hi-hat. With every snare drum, we're adding crash cymbals. The fifth song takes us to the 70s with Cool and the Gang. It's Get Down On It. I used to love vibing to this song every night at clubs in New Orleans whenever I was playing down there on Bourbon Street. We'll slow it down a little to 110 BPM and we're gonna build on the groove that we were just playing. So now the hi-hat's gonna be closed and it's a two bar loop or a two measure loop. So it's gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, between the kick and the snare. Eighth notes on the hi-hat. Three and four and one. There is a drum fill that repeats within this song, but it's within the groove. So on beat four, we'll play one, two, three, four, and a uh, one. If you can play that, you can play this entire song. The important thing is to play with attitude with this one. We gotta drive this song. This next group was attached to the early 2000s rock scene that kind of hovered around New York City, although they're not from New York City. It's Franz Ferdinand, Take Me Out. There's a great book on this subject called Meet Me in the Bathroom if you wanna do some further reading on all of those bands. A Couple of different skills in this one. The first one is it starts fast and then we slow down. When we start at the top, we're just gonna be playing eighth notes. Then the kick drum comes in, four on the floor. Then take it to another skill level, we actually have to play 16th notes that are pretty fast here on the open hi-hat. Pro tip though, if you can't play the 16th notes, just play the eighth notes. Literally, no one's gonna miss it. I'm big with my students on having success, and success means playing through the song. So if that's holding you up, mark it as something you need to work on and then come back to it. Speaking of my online drum students, I'd love to have you be a part of that community in my online drum school. You can check out a 14-day free trial. Link is in the video description. So again, the new skills that we're learning, one is we're changing tempos within a song, and the second one is we're gonna be opening the hi-hat a lot more. So we're gonna go back to four on the floor on the kick drum. One, two, three, Four, two and four on the snare drum. One, two, three, four. On the hi-hat though, we're gonna be playing the upbeats with an open hi-hat. It's gonna sound like this. One, two, and three, and four, and three, four. There's two different ways you can play this drum beat. You can only play the upbeats on the hi-hat, Or you can play eighth notes where the downbeats you play when you're closing the hi-hat. Either one works. The drum beat on the verses is a four bar loop. And on the fourth bar on beat four, we're gonna have four-y and a. Uh. Remember we did that with Cool in the Gang. It's gonna go four-y and a. Uh. See how these are building on each other? Almost like I thought it through for you. Let me play that four bar loop.
This one has a second drum beat that's played on what we'll call the chorus. It's 16th notes on the hi-hat, so we've got three different skills. We are working on changing tempos within a song, we're working on opening that hi-hat consistently on the upbeats, that disco groove, and now we're learning another disco groove. We're gonna play 16th notes on the hi-hat. Two and four on the snare drum. On the end of beat four, we're gonna raise that hi hat again. There are some different snare drum fills within the choruses, but to get those again, check out the sheet music in the link in the video description. A lot of drum parts in disco music of the 70s and early 80s can be found in rock music. Even Dave Grohl was quoted as saying he lifted a lot of the stuff that he plays from classic disco recordings. If you listen to Nevermind, the Nirvana record, I pulled so much stuff from the Gap Band and Cameo and Tony Thompson, all that. It's old disco. That's all it is. <laughs> this next one, we're gonna slow it down and we're gonna learn a new drum beat. Everybody loves a good ballad. This is I Don't Wanna Miss a Thing by Aerosmith with Joey Kramer on the drums. The main groove to this song, I actually did a video where I played through a hundred songs that use this drum beat. It's a very popular drum beat in addition to the money beat, which we learned earlier. And it's going to be with the kick drum. That's where the changes are gonna come. Uh, so it's gonna be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One, two, three, four. One and two new skills here. Sitting in the pocket at a slower tempo, it's not easy, and then learning a new drum beat. Number eight, we've got American Woman. We're not doing the Guess Who version. It's a great version, you should go listen to it as well, but we're doing the Lenny Kravitz version. We're gonna take that drum beat we just learned, we're gonna speed it up a little bit, and we're gonna open the hi-hat. For this next one, we're gonna take that bass drum pattern and slide it over just a little bit. This is Boulevard of Broken Dreams by Green Day, and it's at 84 BPM, Trey Cool on the drums, of course. The bass drum is now going to be on one and two and three and four and. Three, four. We'll also need a second drum beat for the chorus. On the chorus, it's a two bar loop. And so we're gonna have on the kick drum, one and two, three and four, second measure, one and two, three and four, and, and then back to the beginning. Three, four. Again, there are some other various snare drum accents, some ghost notes, as well as some different drum fills that you can throw in there. Check out the full transcription for all of that. And for number 10, we're gonna go back to that early 2000s rock invasion out of New York City. The Strokes were a part of that. This is Last Night. I wish I had a name as cool as this drummer's. It's Fabrizio Moretti, and I really love playing this song. Three things we're gonna be working on. A new drum beat, an increase in tempo, and as well, we're gonna play this one slightly swung. Instead of just being straight, it will be swung. If you listen to the song, I think you'll get the feel for this. This is a two bar loop again. The first measure, we're playing quarter notes on the hi-hat because it is quick. So it's gonna go one, two, three, four. One and three on the kick drum, two and four on the snare drum, quarter notes here on the hi-hat. Measure two, the bass drum is on one, the and of two and the and of three. Everything else stays the same. Three and four and one.
Now there is one more drum beat that he goes to in this song. Other songs with this feel are Walking on Sunshine as well as Are You Gonna Be My Girl by Jet. There's tons of them that use this feel. The second drum beat that he goes to, he's going to be playing that same type of drum beat, but it's gonna be one and three on the kick drum, but then the upbeat of four and the upbeat of one in the next measure. Kick drum and snare go. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe as well. Check out this video that I did where I teach you 10 more introductory beginner drum beats to help you go from no to pro.